Good morning and welcome to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. I know I'm about 17 minutes early. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. The reason I'm early is because United States Senator Bill Cassidy is in the parish this morning. We'll be having coffee with him here in about 20 minutes for about an hour. He'll be taking a tour of the parish. He'll be going to the Livingston Activity Center in Walker as well as Dim Springs High School. Uh, there's also some other activities slid in there. And then he'll be talking about Opportunity Zones at 1130. So we will be with him for all of that. We wanted to get this show in, get it to you guys so you can see it here this morning before I run off uh, to run around with the U.S. Senator for the day. Good morning. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Uh, we are on the news is on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. We're also online. We're twice a week in print. We'd appreciate you checking us out, www.livingstonparishnews.com. These shows, if you ever miss them or uh, don't have time to watch them in the morning, we post them at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We have audio and video versions. If you're joining us live, we appreciate it. If you're watching us later or listening to us later, we appreciate that as well. Thank you. Traffic this morning. Uh, I'm a little early, so it's kind of a different little traffic pattern, but right now heavy delays on 16 and Hatchell Lane in Denham Springs in and around the high school and the junior high elementary out here. Uh, just, you know, tough morning for the traffic. <clears throat> Excuse me, having a little sinus trouble this morning as well. Delays on I-12 westbound heading back past Juban Road. Delays north and south of Live Oak High School as people are trying to get to school this morning. Uh, no delays on 64 as of yet heading into Central. Minor delays at 194H Club Road and River Road. It's currently 72 degrees, high of 97 today. Going to continue to be sunny and hot as we head into the weekend. Running through a quick show today. Uh, the news is aware of, of the issue surrounding uh, Miss Delia Taylor and her husband, Jeff Taylor. It was broken by WBRZ yesterday, their investigative unit. Uh, we have touched base with uh, the Taylors. They will be coming by the office this afternoon at 2 to talk to us about the details that they shared with WBRZ, uh, saying that uh, most of it just is not true. Uh, one of the more important things is that as a sole proprietorship, uh, Ms. Taylor and her business are registered through the Louisiana Department of Revenue. Uh, so that part was not completely true. Uh, we will be looking for that uh, number this afternoon to confirm as well. Might not be tossing it out to you guys, but just to make sure that they have it. Uh, this is also, we are confirming with a few other political consultants that the way that they were doing business is, uh, is kosher. So we'll be coming at you with those details probably this afternoon on this afternoon's show. So please be on the lookout for that. Uh, Parish President Leighton Ricks did veto the grinder pump uh, ordinance that was passed two weeks ago, two weeks ago today, actually, uh, after he came back from uh, arbitration proceedings in Washington, D.C. over inundated roads. He said that after the meeting, he got many calls from local real estate professionals uh, suggesting that there not only could there not be, but they would appreciate it if there wasn't. <clears throat> some sort of uh, uh, lien or barrier on their license because of, you know, and, and a problem that is incurred by them because just in case a seller lied. Now, what happened? Uh, let's back up to the ordinance. The ordinance itself suggested or said, it said that any home that has a grinder pump in Livingston Parish, that must be disclosed on uh, the listing agreement. Uh, as well as the disclosure papers uh, for what's going on with the house. That's part of a normal real estate transaction. Uh, what the ordinance said was that the burden would be placed upon the seller and the real estate agent. Uh, the intent was to make sure that the real estate agent asked the question. A local real estate agent by the name of Taryn Krinkbaum suggested to the council at that meeting that if the council really wanted that, they could approach the Baton Rouge Association of Realtors who puts together a lot of those forms and, to, and find a way for them to include it in the base form. Miss, uh, the, the, the council didn't really heed what she had to say at the time, but after all the phone calls that Parish President Leighton Ricks got, as well as a, a call from Miss Creekbaum, he vetoed it, returned to the council and said, we'd like for you to repass it without the real estate portion or real estate agent portion of it, that the burden would rely on or lie on the seller. Uh, the 
R.C. Bubba Harris, who's the parish councilman for District 5, agreed. So it looks like that will be coming back up either this parish council meeting, which is a week from today, or the second parish council meeting of the month, which will be in September. So we'll be keeping you apprised of that issue. But it looks like they're still going to get back into it, uh, just not in the original form that it passed. Again, President. President Leighton Ricks vetoed that. The sub-chapter to that is a resident of Serene Acres, which all have grinder pumps, and this is where a lot of this started. Uh, has been looking for paperwork, as we mentioned. His name is Eric Carroll. We finally got some of that. We haven't gotten everything that we're after. A lot of interesting pieces to that puzzle for Serene Acres, uh, as well as the inspections that were done. Uh, we're still sifting through a lot of that paperwork, although there was a piece from the Department of Health and Hospitals that said, uh, those grinder pumps would be maintained by a homeowners association. There is no homeowners association there, nor has there been. Uh, so we'll be working through that paperwork to try to see what exactly happened and why those grinder pumps, which were not supplied the appropriate electricity, both the feeding and emptying tubes uh, were not large enough. The horsepower was not high enough on the grinder pumps to handle uh, how homes of those size, as well as the containers were not in. Uh, large enough to contain all that stuff. And, and folks, if you're wondering what a grinder pump is, it's a sewer implement that does exactly what the name suggests. Please use your imagination. Getting out of grinder pumps and into sports, uh, RJ Surpass over in Springfield will be taking the helm for the Bulldogs this year. He's had two season, in season ending injuries uh, and is now coming back for a junior campaign. And it looks like he's gonna be uh, a big piece of that puzzle in Springfield, you can check out the story about him, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash sports. Uh, really interesting story out of Albany. This was uh, written by Mr. David J. Gray. A Captain Patrick Friedman, a native of Albany, Louisiana, uh, relieved Captain Chris Cavanaugh as Commodore of one of the Navy's most decorated submarine squadrons during a change of command ceremony on August 16th. Uh, so, just an amazing opportunity here for an Albany native. Uh, he will be taking control of that squadron. Uh, you can read about that www.livingstonparishnews.com uh, backslash living. Uh, that story came out yesterday. And last but certainly not least, uh, and as many people suggested, he got a few congratulations and then a few uh, it's about times. But Mr. Chase Tyler has been inducted into the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. He is a Denham Springs native. If you want to read about that, it's at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash arts and entertainment. One more time around with the traffic uh, before I got to head out. Uh, traffic is now backed up. I-12 westbound past Juven Road. It's here about 720 in the morning. Delays starting to occur at uh, uh, Juven Road as, and 190 at that little T. Heavy, heavy, heavy delays on Hatchel Lane as well as 16. Heavy delays on 64. Now, uh, it didn't take long, about 10 minutes of our show, uh, for that to start stacking up heading into Central. Uh, still some delays at 16 near Live Oak High School. Your delays on I-12 will dissipate probably around Sherwood Forest and then relatively clear even through the 10-12 split heading into Baton Rouge. One more reminder on your weather. It's currently 72 degrees. 97 is your high. We'll probably feel like somewhere in the hundreds. No rain today. No chance of rain. It's going to be a bright and sunshiny day like it has been for a couple of weeks. We want to remind folks that our weather and traffic are brought to you by BRProud.com, which is WVLA, NBC33, and WGMB Fox 44. One more time. I, uh, I know I rushed through today's show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. The news is on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. If you ever miss one of these shows, it is on our website, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We post them there. They are free. You can watch them at your leisure. We'd appreciate it if you would. There are audio and video versions for whenever you'd like to check them out. Uh, one more time, I am heading out to be with uh, Mr. Bill Cassidy and our Senator, U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy and his uh, his group as they travel around Livingston Parish this morning before an Opportunity Zones meeting at 1130. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you have a great and beautiful Thursday.